This is a minor quick video. I couldn't do the full video on TikTok. I did do a full video on my Facebook page, but I'm gonna do a little, you know, quick video on this. So many people have asked me on my TikTok, what was it like, excuse me, when I was in the presence of God? Well, this is how it started. I was listening to Paul Wilbur, right? I was sitting here listening to Paul uh, Wilbur, worthy and holy and just worshiping. Next thing I felt, I felt like that I broke through this, uh, this tangible, I don't know what to call it, this tangible wall. And next thing I know, everything just became more real. And that's the, and I mean this not in a spiritual, psychological, no, I mean this in a tangible, physical way. It's like everything just became more real. And it's like I broke through this plane and it's like when I was in this plane, it's like everything became sudden. You see, in the presence of God, there is no time. It's like everything that has happened is happening now. It's like the presence of God is sudden. It's like the feeling of the next best thing is going to take place, like the next best thing is going to happen. That's how it felt. OK. And. The power of God was so terrifying. It was so terrifying. And by terrifying, I mean this. It was so scary. He is so holy. You, you don't understand. The Bible says that the beginning of the fear of the Lord or the beginning of wisdom is the fear of the Lord. That's true. His fear is its own tangible presence. And his fear is nothing like the dark demonic fear that you feel whenever you watch child's play or a movie, you know, uh, on the horror station, okay? This fear, if, if the people of this world knew this type of fear, this is a pure fear. This is a holy fear. This is a... Th this is a clean fear and by clean this is the worst fear you could feel because the physical human body is nothing like this being jesus is the mediator yes we were created in god's image yes god created us but we are in this physical body after the fall of man we are nothing like him i'm telling you other than be created in his image and you know feel characteristics like that we are nothing like him i'm telling you jesus is the mediator jesus is the mediator and you know he's the mediator you know he's the he's the one in the physical body but the father who terrifying and i get what the bible says when it says no man can see his face and live, I got scared. I was going to see his face. I legitimately got scared because the power of God, it felt like liquid lightning, liquid electricity. It was so hot. Imagine being an ant under a magnifying glass. That is legitimately how it felt like the sun was beaming. It was terrifying. But at the same time, his love was great. And his love isn't the emotional. Uh, it isn't. It, does, it can manifest in emotions, but it's not confined to the emotional love that humans feel. It's not confined to the emotion of loving somebody that a human feel of, att of attachment. It can contain that, but it's not confined to that. It is power. It is the power of love. His love is, there's no English word to define it. Everything about God is bright. God is bright. He hid himself when he came down uh, in Exodus in a dark cloud. Um, but he is bright. I'm telling God himself, he is bright. And I, I got scared, you know, I was in worship. I had to get out of worship because I got scared that I was, you know, going to go on to glory. And man, it's just a lot. It's like the dimensions of God. It's like every portion of them contains this awesome revelation. Like it, like even the smallest dimension of them should contain millions of encyclopedias. There was so much revelation of being in his presence. It is so much. Oh, thank you, Jesus. It is so much. And it was so terrifying, but it was great. I knew without Jesus, no, no. And my body felt like it started changing at a molecular level. His power, I, I man, I wish I could describe it. This was the most terrifying experience that I've ever had in my life. And my daughter, who was right there, literally, uh, my father-in-law passed away on November 17th on my birthday of uh, 2020. And... My daughter saw me in the presence of God. She drew me in a casket. She literally thought I was going to die. Some people may say, well, no, nah, that doesn't mean you're in the presence of God. Then the presence of God won't, you know, uh, make it seem like you're going to die. Go read the book of Revelation. Go read scripture. Go read the Bible. Um, John became like a dead man at the feet of Jesus because the Jesus in his glorified form, the presence of God, 
he became like a dead man at his feet. And that's because when you go into the presence of God, I'm telling you, you do not want to miss heaven. Let me take that back. You don't want to miss God. You don't want to miss God. I'm not going to say heaven. I'm going to say God because God makes heaven. Everything in heaven is because of him. That would be the worst mistake that you can ever make in your life. This is just part one of the video. I'm going to speak others and other parts. He gave me uh, messages, you know, for America. He loves America. He loves the people in America. He, you know, has a remnant here in America, but he's angry at the wickedness here in America. There's no sugarcoating it. There's no, well, yeah, maybe no. He's angry at the wickedness here in America. But I'm going to talk more about that in another video. So talk to you guys soon. God bless you all.